Humans have been obsessed with immortality for forever. Emperors in Imperial China died from drinking mercury-based potions for eternal life. The story goes that Pope Innocent VIII was given the blood of three 10-year-old boys to fend off impending death. It didn't work. And legend has it the Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon was determined to find that fountain of youth. And he failed. Now, Silicon Valley titans are joining the age-old quest. They're betting that billions of dollars and big brains can delay death, maybe even make death optional. Two examples. Larry Ellison, Oracle co-founder, donated $370 million to anti-aging research. And investors like PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel and Amazon's Jeff Bezos helped raise $116 million for a company that's developing medicines that potentially halt, slow, or reverse age-associated diseases. Most longevity scientists in Silicon Valley are health spanners. That means they want people to have longer, healthier lives, not transmorph into Methuselah. But some innovators are thinking much longer term, maybe a thousand years, they say. Not me, I don't want to live with them for another 500 years. The Silicon Valley mindset combines biology and engineering. The body's just a machine to be hacked and improved. Here's a closer look at three of the efforts. Unity Biotechnology wants to eliminate something called senescent cells with drugs known as senolytics. Over the arc of your life, this cell, you, will divide perhaps 50 times. And at some point along that arc, every cell in your body will pull an emergency brake and stop dividing forever. As we get older, cells get damaged and become senescent, a state that stops them from dividing. Unity's premier product has shown that it kills degraded cells. And related studies in mice show that the elimination can increase the average lifespan by more than 24%. Ambrosia wants to fight aging by giving older patients young people's plasma. Blood in older people carries fewer and fewer cells that instruct organs to repair themselves. So Ambrosia wants to fix that. For $8,000, patients can get 1.5 liters of plasma from a donor between 16 and 25 years old. Results from the early trials have not been made public. And by the way, for what it's worth, this was the same idea Pope Innocent VIII had, but he drank the blood instead of injecting it. Then you have Calico, California Life Company, the offspring of Google's co-founders, is looking to nature for 21st century treatments. The company has published several high-profile reports, including one on naked mole rats, the rats almost never get cancer and do not become more likely to die as they get old. But if the research doesn't pay off in time, at least two bold names in Silicon Valley have a plan 2.0. This is our celebrity role. Google's chief futurist and the chief science officer at SENS Research Foundation want to go full Austin Powers, frozen in liquid nitrogen, stored in a tank, and only thought out once science finds or creates that elusive fountain of youth.